Okay, this is a guide to adding automatic page numbering um, in uh, documents you're creating in InDesign. <clears throat> so I'm starting off uh, with InDesign, I'm just going to open a new page, um, open a new document. Uh, for the argument, for the you know, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to keep this exactly as it is, just uh, A4. Um, okay, okay. So um, I've got my um, page here. Now let me just pull in my palette so that you can see what I'm looking at. So this is the only one we really need to see. This is the pages palette, which shows you all your pages as thumbnails. Um, <clears throat> and what we're going to do is, we, what the idea is that we're going to kind of alter the master page, the master A pages, and then every page you create from then on will have the numbering, um, you know, automatically added. So to to, to talk to the A page, you, you'll notice that if I add it, add any other pages, they've got A next to them, and that's because these are the A page, the A master page, um, and it's kind of like um, a template which um, you set up, um, which are these ones up here, which, um, and then every time you create a new page. It will make um, it will select you know make make an actual A page. So let's delete those. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to double click on the A page, and this is going to show me the templates, um, which is um, you know how they are at the moment. So it's dead simple. Um, you create a text box, um, and let's say we're going to put the page number. Um, let's put it just about there. And what we're going to do is what we want to do is add a special character. Which um, indicates to the program to instead of inserting um, you know this special character, it will insert the current page number. So <clears throat> we double click on um, uh, the, uh, the you hold down Control click. Sorry, so that's like holding down the control and then clicking, um, and then you'll see here insert special character. Now if we go to uh, markers. And then current page number. So let, I'll run for that again. So hold down Control on the keyboard and click on the text box. And go to special characters, markers, current page number. Um, for you know, for those that want um, a hotkey, it's Apple Shift Command and N is uh, the uh, the hotkey for that. So that's Alt Shift um, Apple key N. And inside you see um, it's put the letter A. Now that's um, put the letter A in there because this is the A master page. Um, but what you'll find is that that will be replaced um, with the actual page number when they when it becomes a page number. At the moment it's just a template, so it's not actually hasn't actually got a page number. So we can what we can do is we can add format into this, so we could change the font. Let me just uh, put in my palette. We could uh, make it. Uh, for argument's sake, let's go to um, Eurostyle and let's go bold. So that's changed the font face. You can obviously change the colour of that font face, change the size um, if you wanted to. <clears throat> I'm just going to move this as well, like we could uh, maybe centre justify it. So just put it in the centre. I'm also going to, I want it to this to appear on both pages, both sides of the spread. Um, so we're going to need to put it over here. So I can just copy this element, and if I hold down Alt and Shift, that's going to create a copy and let me move it along on the same plane. Okay, so there you go. So that we've got that. So now, if I check on page A, which is using the template, um, page one, sorry, which is using the A master template, it will have the page number. So one. So if I had another page, two, three. Four, five. So every page you make subsequently will now have the page numbers in it. Um, yeah, and so that's how you do it.